G'day year two. How are you out there in video land? Lovely to see you. Mr. Watson here with this week's art lesson. You might have guessed what we're on about this week. Yes, we are on about robots. We are going to try and apply our knowledge of geometric shapes in an artwork about robots. Circles, squares, rectangles, triangles, squares and semicircles. I might have said squares twice, but that's okay because you're going to be using a lot of them. You're going to need some A3 paper, your big paper, pencil, a black marker, and some coloured markers or some coloured pastels or both to add some colour. Your challenge is going to be to create a robot completely out of only geometric shapes. But before we do that, let's get some inspiration. Okay. Hello and welcome. As you might notice, all these robots are made up of very simple geometric shapes circles, rectangles, semicircles, squares, things like this. Your challenge is to use simple shapes and inspiration to build an amazing robot. G'day, and we're back. So boys and girls, you've got some inspiration from your images before. You can use those to look at to give you some ideas. However, you've got a hard challenge because your challenge is you're only allowed to use circles, squares, rectangles, and triangles. That's it, nothing else. So you're gonna to have to be really creative. Why have I only given you those four shapes? Because I want you to really think and I want you to really try and be creative with just those shapes. So you're gonna to need to challenge yourself. You can change the size of the shapes. By joining them together, you can make other shapes and also by adding details. I'll show you what I mean. So with this one here, for example, I've used that size square here. I've used small squares inside, small squares inside the eye, another small square here. I've used big rectangles. I've used tiny rectangles. I've used tiny triangles. I haven't used any big triangles. I've used big circles, little circles, little circles, little triangles. I've combined shapes by joining them together to make an arm out of different shapes. There's lots of ways you can do this. You have to think and be creative with your shapes, okay? So, that's what we're looking for. Lots of creativity, okay? How are we gonna start? Well, I'm glad you asked. I'll show you that now. And we're back. So, how are we gonna start? These are the shapes you're allowed to use. So you could pause this video here and you could use this as something to look at to help you. I'll put a picture of it in as well to look at. How you start? I would highly recommend starting in pencil. Get yourself a pencil, and I would start somewhere in the middle, either with the body or the head. I'm gonna start with a square, and I'm gonna make it quite big. Okay, you can just see it there. You don't have to do this, but this is how I started. Then I can build from there. I'm not gonna draw one for you because I want you to draw your own. But you might decide to stack squares, you might decide to stack rectangles, you might have a semicircle with squares on top, then you might come down here for legs, you might come here out here for arms. But I would start with something nice and simple and build it up like a, almost like a Lego model out of just squares, rectangles, triangles, circles, and semicircles. I think I forgot to put semicircles in there. I'll put that in the picture as well, okay? When you're finished, you need to go over it with a black outliner. So add your black lines over the top to get all your shapes looking really good. And then finish it off with either, I've used oil pastel for my yellow here, and I've used markers in here for my bright colors to get lots of lots of visual interest to make my robot look amazing. Okay, so that's your challenge. I'm looking for the best robots I can see. I wanna put some in the newsletter. So make sure you get mum and dad to take a photo of them and send them through to me. I would like to put them in the newsletter to show off how good my grade two artists are. Remember, if you get a chance, make sure your robot gets to have a dance to some robot music because it really helps it feel happy about life. See, what's this? Good luck, have fun. See you next week.